but the really pretty green affordable one. So that's just like from by the pool or just my behemian skincare that I use. Socks and pajamas. So in cups, this is just a double wool. Berry dust scent from last because we do shakes every day. So to have a shower whilst we're camping, like I literally feel like we're glamping. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm actually going to be going on a little getaway with the family for two nights in our new caravan. So we're very, very excited. Um, I'm currently working today. It is a Friday. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly show you what I'm packing for our trip away. I have all my clothes laid out here. Um, I'm still sort of like in between, like being Friday, so we're going tomorrow. I'm in between packing my clothes, food, all that sort of stuff because um, I've got clients so I'm trying to do all this sort of stuff in between if that makes sense so um, I'm just gonna run through all the things that I'm taking we're only going for two nights we're going in just a um, big four caravan park so it's gonna be low-key casual we're not gonna go out for dinner or anything but I just still want to like wear decent clothes um, and just pack for different seasons as well because you just never know like I'm always gonna pack a jumper and trackies that's just me um so i'm going to show you what i'm going to be taking um so then you know if you're going also on a little trip it could give you a little insight to what you could also take so let me show you what i'm taking okay so i'm going to start off with the casual gear i am packing a pair of just some like loungewear shorts they're just my gray mal color my favorite lorna jane t-shirts is the white and the pink and then I am going to take my white fox tracksuit. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you would have seen this recently. These are so good, these track um, tracksuits. They come in all different colors, but highly recommend. They're just a really comfortable, great fit. So I have the gray mile with the green writing. They're really comfy. Uh, just a few little beachy, I guess, outfits, casual, if we do go somewhere. This is just a nice little um, caramel top. It's just a cropped top. Um, that go with these white pants. These are from Gander. This top's from Dotty. So that's a really like comfortable beachy um, pool sort of clothing. And I've just got a white top to go with some denim shorts. That's just like a bit of a cropped style t-shirt. It's just got a short sleeve on it. Um, so I'm mainly packing for summer because it's summer here in Australia. So that's just another little um, casual outfit. Gonna chuck in this little jumpsuit. This is a beigey jumpsuit from Gander. Really comfortable, this little suit, and it's always good to chuck in um, to keep casual, or if we do go somewhere, um, I've also got a nice little outfit to wear. Moving on to my swimmers. This is my awesome crochet dress that I deeply love so much. It is great for the pool side, so that's specifically what I'm taking it for, so I can chuck over my swimmers. Um, so I've got a white pair of um, the ribbed swimmers. These are just from Target. They are a really great pickup. They are quite thick, um, so it keeps you all in. Really like those. So it just if I feel like wearing a full piece. And then I've packed a couple of swimmers. So this is just from Cotton On. Um, just due to a little bit of weight loss, I'm actually able to wear some like bikini style swimmers now. So I'm stoked about that. Uh, not a lot of support, obviously. But I picked that from Cotton On and it goes with either of these um, swim bottoms. So these are just a high rise black from Infamous. Also from Infamous, these are leopard. I've got the leopard top in this, but um, I'm just liking the black with that at the moment. And then I have the really pretty green. Loving this khaki color at the moment with all the rib design. Um, really didn't think this would suit me, but it is really quite flattering so I'm excited to wear these I won't be running around that's for sure in these tops um, but I am looking forward to being able to get a bit of a tan so I thought I'd pack a few bikinis and then um, this is my hat where did I get this from um, City Beach this is my City Beach um, hat that I have it's a really great affordable one so that's just like from by the pool or just whatever um, just a little cap to wear with my casual clothes and then also the beach side uh, poolside hat as well and I forgot to mention these are my pajamas so these are just like a soft pink linen these are also from Target um, really comfortable they're just like a short sleeve short sleeve and just shorts 
they're really comfy so i don't know if they have them in stock anymore these are pretty old however just a light summery pair of pajamas and i have shoes i'm gonna chuck in my uggies these are like definitely old and very weathered um but they are for like if lucas and i are wanting to have a drink at night sitting out by the van just whilst the kids are in bed um i thought to keep my feet protected from mozzies that would be a great alternative um just some of my tan slides they're just from target uh target as well these are just my old faithfuls i just i don't have thongs anymore like how un-australian of me but um i'm just into the black slides yeah so i've just got a bit of a variety of shoes but yeah i don't have my thongs anymore we, however we've got our own um bathroom in the caravan so i'm not needing to take thongs because i do wear thongs in public showers so them shoes are what i'm taking so that is what i have i've obviously got underwear bras and all that sort of stuff that you don't need to see um however i've got them in the wash so i'll pack them later i have a little list of some stuff that i um still have so so a great way to keep track of what you have i have a little caravan list here um so i still have to pack my collagen shakes because i am doing the collagen co challenge at the moment um, and i want to pack my creatine bras underwear obviously that are in the wash phone chargers cameras etc um our pillows and any medications that i still will be taking um, i'm going to go into the kids room um next after i pack all of my stuff into my bags um, because i'm actually moving all of this into the caravan it's not going to be needing to be packed overly that neat into any type of bag it's just going to be located from this room to the caravan out front so not really needing to pack too much however i need to get my toiletries and all of that jazz so i'll show you also what i'm taking for toiletries okay so i've already pre-packed a uh, majority of what i'd be taking so i'll just show you what i've got i've just got my bohemian skincare that i use an esme hydrating serum and I've got my eyelash serum in here somewhere. Um, yep, down the bottom I use an eyelash serum. So I've got to keep consistent with that. So I'm going to be taking that with me. And then these are for the body, um, my deodorant, uh, body oil, and just a lotion. And then just up top I've got some Q-tips, bobby pins, and tweezers just for those specific needs. Um, these are a really great little travel pack. It just folds up and it's got a little handle too. And then it's got a little hook. So you can hook that into your bathroom. I'm sure lots of people have seen these before. Um, but this is what I take every time I travel anywhere. Um, I can hang that, that up in our caravan. However, I'm probably going to unpack this and yeah, just be able to live a little bit easily instead of living out of any type of bags. Um, I also have this little bag too. And this has just got a few like um random things so like um this hemp hand cream and foot cream i'm specifically packing this for lucas because i don't know why i think i feel like because he lives in runners throughout um his work days and then we go on holidays he gets really cracked heels so i'm thinking of lucas in this scenario so i'm going to chuck that in just to keep his feet hydrated and then i've got a hairbrush um scrunchie i always wear scrunchies to bed I've got some hair dyes for Chloe, uh, a claw clip because, uh, because um, this is great. This argan oil hemp seed uh, leave-in treatment. I'm specifically going to use that on my hair after like swimming and stuff because I'm not going to be washing my hair. I'm not going to be wearing any makeup whilst we're away. This is literally like a chill, relaxed little getaway. So that can be great for, yeah, just pre-rinsing your hair and then chuck that in once it's like damp like damp dry um and then that's a perfume not a perfume it is it's a body spray um and then i think that's it but this is also a great little case too i think i picked these up from target i think the other one also was from target this comes in three different sizes so these are great little um travel packs because you can see what's in there and it comes in this is the larger size and then they go down medium small
Okay, so now I have just packed my cupboard. So this is just the cupboard literally next to the kids' beds. And I just figured that it's the best place to store all the stuff. So we have four shelves, one, two, three, four, and then three drawers down the bottom. So I'm gonna give the kids the drawers. Um, these little cubes, they're just from like Ikea. I've had them forever. I'm glad I kept them actually, because I was gonna throw them out. So I've kept, uh, I've put my swimmers and my underwear in that one, pajamas, and then my tracksuit. So just like the things that I don't think I'm gonna wear all that much, I'm gonna tuck up the side there, because there's just like a little nook up the back. Um, and then I've just kept them as is, so then they're easier to access. I've just left my hats here for now. I do plan on hanging them at some point, but we're just gonna get a feel for the um, caravan before we go putting any hooks up. Um, and that's just like my, underneath there's that jumpsuit and the little swimmer throw. So then, yeah, it's just easy to access. I just didn't want to put them in containers. It's just easier to see what I have. And then it's just going to be the same for Lucas. So he's going to have one of these for his underwear and then socks, whatever he needs. And then he's got two shelves there to put all of his stuff. And then I'm just going to put the kids' stuff down in the bottom drawers now. Ari's drawer. I literally like pack pretty much two of everything. So these are two track pants, two jumpers, his underwear, his night nappies, and then we have a couple of t-shirts. I think there's about four t-shirts, uh, about I think two or three pairs of shorts, I think three pairs, and then we've got uh, two sets of swimmers and then two sets of pajamas. So one summer and one winter, and that one is Ari's. And then Chloe's is pretty much exactly the same. So she's got um, she's got some denim shorts, some leggings, a couple of pairs of um, their trackies, some jumpers, then she's got her night nappies, um, she's got her underwear, she's also got a couple of pairs of swimmers, some shorts, um, tops and pyjamas. So same again, summer jammies and a, just a, like a warmer pair of pyjamas. So pretty much two of everything and they fit in there pretty well. Um, I have kept this bottom drawer for, I think I'm going to keep it for like their hats, maybe their shoes as well, not quite sure. The shoes won't stay in here, but they might just um, travel in here. And then I just figure this little hole here could just kind of carry my shoes. I don't know. Their shoes probably won't stay in here. It might just travel in here, as in like when we actually uh, get to our destination, we might put them outside. I'm not quite sure, but for now, that is where my shoes are going. So this is the little pantry situation. It is quite a narrow little pantry. However, if it was pull out, it would be much easier to access everything. Um, we've got a little overhead cupboard there that I'm also using. Uh, I'll start up here. So this is just where I'm gonna store like the breads and just like the lightweight things. So um, I've just got a loaf of bread and just these little pikelets. I've never got these for the kids before, but I just thought that would be a fun little holiday treat to have um, 
when they haven't had it before. This is, I've just put the bananas in there uh, for now, just because I don't want them to get all bruised. And then just the, uh, I plan to do some burgers for one of the nights. So um, I just got those. And then we've got some of these Dorito chippies. They're always really handy to have. Um, I've just got that dip as well that I'm going to take away. If you've watched vlogs before, you know what I'm talking about. This is mine and Lucas's little snack box. However, this is just out of the way of the kids so they don't see them. Um, this is our little snack box. So I've got some tuna, nuts. I've got a protein bar. I need to get some more of those. Um, I've got some of these little rice cakes. Uh, I think that's it for the, for now. Um, some little sakata biscuits um, as well as those tortilla biscuits. Um, I'll get some yogurts and stuff to put in the fridge as well. Um, but like I said, I'm storing these out of the way so the kids can't see them because I have packed their slack pack, loose packets of chips in these containers because um, when they want a packet of chips, I'll just get it out so they can actually access it themselves. Um, now in here, this is just where I've put some shapes and some cookies just for basically the kids. This is their little goodie cupboard. Um, I just, Lucas is like, why did you get all this stuff for? And look, for the little ones, holidays and stuff, I feel like within moderation, they can have a few little treats here and there. I haven't done any baking or anything in regards to this trip. I've just been busy. I've been working this week. So just chucked a couple of those in for the kids. They may or may not eat them. I don't know. But um, condiments, I've already pre-purchased some coffee. I'm not taking my coffee machine. Um, I'll just have the Makona and then uh, Vegemite, strawberry jam and peanut butter. I've just caught them in these little dish, these little um, containers. It's quite heavy, so it doesn't need to be pulled all the way out. But I just felt like it was, you know, somewhat more organized like that. Um, and then I could just have my coffee easily accessible. And then once again, this is the paper towel. They've got some stored up the back there. And this is the salt and pepper and sauces. Um, Lucas hates this idea. I don't know how it's gonna go, but it's gonna be like this for now because this is just what I've come up with. Um, I have some Tupperware containers and down here is the dustpan. Um, and that is all I have for the pantry so far. I think that's enough. Behind me here is the fridge. Um, we have quite a reasonable size fridge. So tomorrow, uh, when it's up and running, I'm gonna fill it. Um, we don't have a very big freezer. Um, so we'll have to be mindful about what we put in there, but we have a really decent sized fridge. So um, that is great. And then I'll be able to fill it, stock it with some fresh um, foods and yogurts and etc. Um, so I'm excited about using this great fridge and then we've got our microwave above so that'll be really handy while i'm here i it did end up ducking into kmart the other day and purchased a couple of things this being one of them uh, they sell these at ikea i believe um that i think they might be a little bit bigger see how it short, falls a little bit short um to cover the whole um, cooktop so this is like a metal um, cooked up underneath so it's just sort of stopping it from getting scratched um so that's specifically what i bought it for um, however, we do have also an air fryer that I bought. It's just only like a, a three liter one. So it's actually quite small. We use our air fryer at home heaps. Um, so I thought I would have it for the van. Um, so we'll be able to use that. And like I said, I've got a freezer so I can stock some stuff. Um, our Nutribullet, because we do shakes every day. So I'm going to, I bought that just specifically for the van. I have a little platter here and then a bowl at the back. Um, I did a little bit of organizing the other day. So that's where I've got my air fryer and my Nutribullet. So the air fryer is from Kmart. Nutribullet is from Target and the platter and the bowl I just had. Uh, this is just under the sink here, this cupboard. And this is just where I'm going to store like, um, cloths and soaps. And then we've got, um, the kettle and the toaster are from Target. Um, I haven't used them yet, but it's not a plastic one. This one, it's a nice aluminium one. Um, and that is just a cute little toaster. I just got the, the two toaster thingy. We don't need the four, especially when we're camping. Cause we do have the four slice one at home. 
So that's where I'm going to keep the toaster and the kettle for now. Um, for travel, especially the kettle. The cookware I've just chucked underneath here. Um, behind here is the pan. And then just behind there is like, that's actually where I'm pretty sure the wheel is. So I was able to stack like the little food cover there. This is our pots and that's our pan with the food cover. So that's what I have in that cupboard underneath the sink. Cutlery, we just, I just went through our cutlery drawer, picked up some knives, steak knives, butter knives, and got all of our cutlery ready to go. Um, and some little wooden spoons. So that little um, thing came with the van, like the tray uh, for the knives and forks. Uh, this is just some glad wrap, baking paper, garbage bags, sandwich bags at the back. Tea towels and more cleaning cloths when I need to do some cleaning. That's just a bib for more so Chloe. Okay, this is the uh, cups, bowls and plates drawer. And these are just some little plastic cups that I picked up. Uh, I think these were from Kmart. I thought these would be great for the van. So um, I can have my little beverages in those just for something nice to drink out of. These are my coffee cups. This is just the double wool. Uh, coffee cup and espresso cup. Uh, the double wool was from Kmart and that one's Nespresso. So, and then I wanted to keep it really minimal with our uh, bowls, plates and cups. So that's from Kmart. Um, and I just wanted one each and then that way we can keep on top of like washing up our stuff as well. Cause I really don't want to have to be catering to too many plates and bowls. And then this cupboard above um, the sink and that uh, this is what I would call like my junk drawer. So I have in here sunscreen, tissues, wipes, a little notebook um, with a pan that's floating around here. Um, there's a pan, some scissors. That's like um, like some travel cutlery that Lucas, I feel, will use at some point. Um, Sticky tape, I don't know why I got sticky tape, I just feel like sticky tape is always something that we use in life. Um, so I've got a packet of tissues, because we want to use tissues, and just some sunscreen. So that's sort of like my um, little um, junk drawer that I will have near the door, so we can just access it easily. Um, it, this box doesn't fit in this cupboard because of this thing here. Um, it just hits, so I have, yeah, put it in this cupboard here. This I'm going to use for all of our medicines. I haven't filled it as yet. Um, I was watching some vlogs on how to pack your caravan, and I actually came across um, someone having the idea of keeping it um, insulated. So this is actually a lunchbox. So, yeah, I thought that was a really good idea. It's all done up, so I can't do it with one hand. Um, so, yeah, I was going to store it in the bathroom. However, I felt like um, to easily access it at the front door would be best um, and up high out of the kids reach. I am going to label the containers just so then Lucas knows when he opens it what's actually in it without having to take it all out. Um, he does know that that's going to be the medicine one so I don't need to label that. While I'm at it I thought I might show you the bathroom so we have a really cute little ensuite here happening. I'm really happy with it all so we've got um, this is like a little cup that you can keep like your toothbrushes and toothpaste in um and then underneath we have some cupboards which have some pretty decent storage i've just got these tubs in there so far so like um, i've got some washers in there um, and hand towels and then there's some things that i haven't used in the van as yet uh, but i thought we could some, store some stuff underneath here and this is the toilet brush as well that i'm going to store underneath here as well uh excess wipes and then also some toilet paper uh, this is our bin that I got the other day from Kmart. I have just got it here for now because it's not going to move far in this area while the van travels. And then above here, this is um, an above cupboard, which I have had put these little baskets in because I feel like um, we could all have a basket each. So, so far, um, the kids don't really need a basket each, but maybe Lucas can have two baskets, I can have two baskets. Um, in here is just, I've been like slowly gathering stuff for the van, so there's kind of, everything's everywhere at the moment, but at least there is stuff in the van ready to go. So these are band-aids, um, 
I feel like these are like something you always need. Tweezers, nail files, scissors, um, nail clippers. I feel like everywhere I go, being a nail technician, everyone asks me, do you have a pair of nail clippers? Do you have a nail file? Well, I do now. Um, some little kitties, toothbrushes. I figure some cheap ones in the caravan would be good. We always need lotion when we're on holidays so we're not dry and crusty. Um, and then some of my girly needs. So actually that's some floss for your teeth. Um, pads, tampons, what's that? Oh, good old air freshener. This is so beautiful, this smelling air freshener. This is the fairy dust scent from Mars. Um, mouthwash, Lucas likes mouthwash. I picked up a little one for him. The travel size stuff's really good actually. Uh, and that I'm gonna store in the fridge, just the fridge isn't on at the moment. So that's just some aloe vera for any times that we get a little bit too much sun. And then moving over to the shower, I ended up picking up this little um, rail, suction rail from Kmart. It's really, really handy um, because our shower is like, it's perfect, like a really decent space, but at the same time it is small. So once you actually go in it, there's not a huge amount of room to be like frolicking about. So I figure it being in the corner is good because if you have something up here, you're going to knock it if you're washing your hair and that. Um, and this is the soap dispenser. It's just going to travel in there so it doesn't spill or, you know, fall over the place. So just put it there for now. But we've got some shampoo, conditioner, uh, body wash, some toothpaste. Um, and that's about it I think I have for there. Um, so I've just stocked that in there for now. But um, I'm stoked to have a shower whilst we're camping. Like, I literally feel like we're glamping. So majority of the van is packed. Um, I have done the kids... Um, drawers, my drawers, Lucas's stuff's not packed obviously um, and then I do have another client coming very shortly so I'm going to wrap this up and then come back tomorrow and finish off packing the van so doing all the food and the last minute things um, that we need to do the day of um, when we're going away so very excited and I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay hey guys now it is now Saturday I'm trying to work out what day it is it's been a little bit chaotic and I'm just about to grab, jump into the caravan. We're about to head off. Um, so I'd say it's just a bit after 2.30. So the car ride shouldn't be too long. So fingers crossed. Wish me luck. We ready? Yeah. 